Hello sweeties, welcome to or back to the channel. In today's review, we're going to be doing I Like Hair. You get a goodie bag with an edge brush, two styling clips, and a hair clip. You get a rat tail comb, two wig caps, and a removable glueless band. So moving on to the wig construction, it is a 13 by 4. You get three cones in the top. The attachments for the glueless band, a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and a lace tab. So this is how it comes straight out of the bag. Um, as you can see, the knots are not bleached yet, but you can see those natural edges. This is the parting area. It does come already curled. It's very bouncy and very soft. So, I mean, if you want to do it straight out of the bag, you might be able to. This is a 22 inch, but um, very pretty. But I'm going to go ahead and completely prep this. So I'm going in with the Clairol BW2 and my Clairol 40 developer and a spoon. You guys, I've really been loving the spoon. But first, I'm going to take two cups of the bleach powder and I add one cup of the cream developer. That's usually enough for a 13 by 4. And when I do the cup, I fill it all the way to the top. It should have been just a little bit fuller than that. But um, yes, that is my mixture for 13 by 4s. And if you're doing a closure, I do one scoop of the powder and a half a cup of the cream developer. So just mix it up and you want it to be very pasty, like a toothpaste. You don't want it to be too runny and it's, you know, getting all on the hair and everything. And back to me loving the spoon, I just really think I apply the right pressure. Sometimes with the applicator, I do just a little bit too much and it causes it to over bleach. I'm pushing in too deep, but just using the back of that spoon and the edges of it, and just smoothing it out that's just automatically like the perfect pressure so it's going through the knot through the lace just a bit but it's not going too far i know y'all can't really see what i'm doing but you'll kind of see here and there what i'm talking about just smoothing it out with the back of the spoon it's perfect Now you can see a little bit more of what I mean, just using the back and the sides of the spoon to spread it out. And when you're spreading it, it's going just deep enough. It's not going too far. So by the time I was done, this is how much I use. So like I said, this is enough for a lace frontal and I let it sit for 30 minutes. So for shampoo and conditioner, I use the Aussie Moist. And for my purple shampoo, I just use this when I get out of Walmart. And I just rinse all the bleach out, make sure it's not on the hair too much, rinse it all out. And then I go in with my purple shampoo and start to um, wash some of that yellow or brassiness out. I did wash it quickly twice with this just to make sure I got as much of that brassiness out as possible. So when it comes to my conditioner, I will put it on and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. 
um, I'll just get it all over the hair and then once I'm done I will double all the hair inside out so basically turning the wig inside out and making like a little sack out of it and then I'll get a grocery bag and put it in there and just let it sit for like I said 30 minutes to an hour and it's usually good to go it's always soft and has a really pretty smell to it So let's get into this install. This is the lace spray that I'm using. It's by the Red Brand. And this is how it looked after I sprayed it on. It's blending pretty well. So now I'm just going to start the application process. I'm using the got to be as usual. Um, I did just like two quick layers of this. Nothing major. Just one um, line across. Let it get a little bit tacky. Then I sprayed the other one on and laid the wig down. So now I'm just going to cut off my ear tabs. It wasn't actually a lot of cutting I needed to do. It was just lace. It wasn't actually hair I had to cut like usual. Y'all, I just really love the definition that they put in this hairline. You see like in the temple area how it like comes out more and then it goes back. Like they just really put a lot of detail in this wig. So after you cut off your lace, just make sure you go back with some got to be spritz, melting spray or whatever, and get anything that might have lifted and just further melt it down, tie it down and it'll be ready to go. You guys the hairline is so good so now i'm just trying to loosen it back up because you know sometimes you spray the got to be and you lay the wig down and you tie it down the hairs get pressed down to your head so i'm just going to loosen that up a bit you can also use just a little bit of styling foam that helps even more so you're not tugging and pulling any of the hair out of your lace um, it just makes it softer and easier to comb out so now i'm just taking the product left in my um contour brush that I use and I'm blending and melting out that hairline 
and then I'm gonna go in with the hot comb and kind of press out my edges a little bit more but looking back on it they were really cute in the more kinky style but um I just thought it would make it look a little bit more neater to go ahead and hot comb them So now I'm going in with the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. It's an anti-frizz, heat protectant up to 450 degrees. Um, I think it's really great for curly hair and 4C hair and stuff like that. So that's why I'm using it and I also use it on my real hair. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get the top of my wig more flattened out, looking more realistic. And then I'm going to go in with my flat iron with the same tresemme and pop just a little bit of a loose curl right at the ends of my hair. So the leave-in conditioner I've been using is the Aussie's Hair Insurance. Um, it's pretty good. It has a decent smell to it. You spray it on the hair, brush it through. It makes it really soft and manageable. So I ended up going with a side part. Y'all know I'm a tassel girl. I can't help it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start telling y'all what I think of this hair and everything like that. So this hair is very soft. It is very realistic. It just gives you freshly washed blowout. The hair came with a nicely already washed scent. So like I said, if you wanted to go straight out of the box with this, like you just don't care to prep it you could get away with it because it doesn't have like a bad odor or anything to it initially when i first got the wig and saw the edges i was like okay i'm gonna have to probably tweeze this a little bit more definitely do not do that i didn't tweeze it it was already tweezed to perfection as you can see any more tweezing it will be bald in the front <laughs> so i'm happy i didn't just jump on that and do it because it did not need it at all and let's talk on the cap so it is very comfortable i slept like a baby in this wig it is so comfortable y'all the cap is definitely big head friendly it has a great stretch to it but it fits the forehead and around the ears perfectly the hair is very lightweight it's it's long hair it's thick hair but it's very lightweight like i cannot feel when i have it on at all it's giving natural healthy hair i mean she's a 10. I mean just look at that so realistic the texture the color everything until next time stay sweet